Today's Bible study is titled, By All Means, Save Some. Some denominations and churches and even individual believers often place traditions on the same par with the word of truth, particularly when it comes to how the Sunday morning method of gathering is conducted. Consider Paul's statements below, For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. To them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them, that are under the law, to them that are without law, as without law, being not without law to God, but under the law to Christ, that I might gain them, that are without law. And to the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men that I might by all means save some. 1 Corinthians 9 verses 19 to 22. Let's consider this. There is a very simple principle here that many appear to be ignorant of, something that is demonstrated repeatedly in the scripture, namely that in order to reach those that others are not reaching, may require methods that others are not employing. We've seen this simple principle employed in recent years where churches and denominations seek to reach a segment of the population that weren't being reached by traditional means. Some of the methods employed include biker churches, cowboy churches, and even a model typically described as seeker churches. In the seeker church model, often the entire Sunday morning gathering is arranged with a very contemporary theme around outsiders who may or may not have any church experience. And these non-traditional church models have met with some measure of success in their endeavors, reaching segments of non-believers that traditional churches have not typically reached. Of course, success must be measured by adherence to the word of truth, rightly divided, particularly as pertains to the gospel preached or apart from preaching the gospel of grace. Those reached may not hear and believe what is required to be saved in this dispensation of the grace of God. Many more traditional believers and organizations seem to have trouble accepting these non-traditional churches and the methods they employ, and that certainly is their right. But should not such criticism be reserved until those critical of these non-traditional church models have first come up with their own method for reaching the unreached? In fact, if these are to be critical of non-traditional churches, perhaps, they should recall that even Christ was criticized by the organized religion of his days on earth for his methods. Example, he hung out with sinners. Paul understood this principle, and though he was a free man, e.g. standing in the liberty for which Christ paid, he imposed a servant status upon himself for the sake of reaching others. This is described in our scripture reference above where he states, I am made all things to all men that I might by all means save some. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 22. Believer before criticizing the non-traditional means and methods of others, remember the example of Christ and of Paul in this regard. If the gospel truth rightly divided is preached, Personal or organizational preference should never be the basis for criticism of fellow believers engaged in reaching the lost and teaching the saved. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.